Hey, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jelen from Mr. Excel. We'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. Uh, I love this question. person gets a database like this every single day. They need to go through and get rid of all of the N records. Three lines of VBA code. I want to send a, a shout out to my friends over in England, uh, John Vonder Hayden and Richard Scholar. I used to have a different way of doing this. They showed me an amazing way. I will switch over to VBA here, Alt F11, and it is really comes down to just three lines of code. Right here is the first line of code. It says, hey, go to the headings up in row one and do an auto filter. Go to field seven, that's column G, and look for everything that's not N. The beautiful thing about auto filter is it will grow to however many records we have today, so I don't have to figure that out. Uh, next line of code is this one here. Go to cell A1 and do current region, in other words, control asterisk to select the whole range, but I don't want to delete the headings, so go down one row. Offset 1 is saying go down one row. It's you don't even have to put the number of columns over. And then we're going to use special cells. That's like using edit, go to, special, visible cells only. And for, our, for those visible cells, delete the entire row that you see. And then this last line of code says, hey, let's turn off the auto filter. I'm going to run this one line at a time just because it is so cool. So, right here we're about to do the auto filter. Let's take a look at our data set. See the auto filters are not on. I run that line of code. I press F8. Bam! Auto filters are on, and we're seeing only the ends. Next line of code. Take everything in the current region. Go down one row to make sure we don't get the headings, and delete everything you can see. Bam! It looks like everything's gone. And then finally, the last line of code. Turn off the auto filter. Uh, everything comes back, and we're left with everything but the N records. VBA, it's the way to go. Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Wow, that is some beautiful code. But since I don't know how to do code, I'm going to go ahead and do this with filter. So, data set comes into any workbook you have. Click in any cell in the data set. And I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control Shift L. Otherwise, you go to Data Filter. I'm going to use Control Shift L. Then I'm going to come over here and select the drop down, unselect all, and then click blanks. Click OK. With that cell still selected up there, I'm going to Control Asterisk, which highlights the whole table, and Control C. What's great about Filter is that Control C automatically uh, copies only the visible cells. Now I'm going to insert a new sheet. Maybe I already have a sheet right here. I could use the keyboard shortcut if I didn't have a sheet. Shift F11, Shift F11, and then Control V. Uh, and then I could uh, maybe click up here to select all the columns and double click a single time to best fit everything. So with a, a few clicks, filter, turn the filter on, filter it, copy, insert a new sheet, and uh, paste. And there you have it. All right, I'll throw it back to Mr. Excel. Ah, Mike, I love that one. Control Shift L. I've never used that before, uh, but it's a great one. Hey, it's time, Mike, for uh, you to start to learn some code. I mean, right? You're, you know, all these amazing Excel tricks. If we had a code in on top of that, you would be incredibly dangerous. I'm going to be out there at the end of February. Maybe we can record some live dueling Excel podcasts, and I can start to try and twist your arm to start to learn some code. All right, well, hey, I want to thank everyone for stopping by for another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. Thanks to Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. See you next week.